hi welcome back to rebecca's travel so if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi if you're new here to my channel my name's rebecca i love talking about travel and lifestyle and um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so i really appreciate it um the weather has uh, been um spotting a rain um here in the uk um bits of uh, sunshine quite cloudy as well um so again temperatures um uh, really quite cold for this uh, t uh, time of year unfortunately and um, so um or at least it is um around um northwest leicestershire so travel news uk five exciting facts of uh, july 2023 part three um so um again this is um some a uh, very exciting tips and uh, news uh, for uh, for you um so i'm going to uh, dive right in with number one which is at uh, sky news at uh, summer uk holiday traffic chaos warning where the flashpoints are and where when is best to travel um, it says drivers are being warned um, about the expected long delays at, at this weekend as nearly 30 million uh, getaway journeys are planned um again because of the school holidays um they've broken up um most of the schools in england and wales um so uh, drivers are being warned to expect long delays this weekend as nearly 30 million getaway journeys are planned the majority of uh, schools in england are and wales at break up for the summer this friday which is the worst day for congestion as holiday makers embark on daily trips or day trips or holidays by car um flashpoint uh, are expected at airports um again extremely uh, extremely busy and um, also the seaport of dover um the n get <laughs> um the m5 southbound from bristol and yeah you've guessed it the m25 clockwise junction 10 for um the a3 to and also junction six for the a22 and um, heading to east grinstead and um, it is a, pre a predicted um anyway um so again um if you avoid those areas especially at really busy time periods um like say late morning um to say early afternoon um but that's when i think will be the worst of it and um, i also think um it all it is also better to head to wales scotland the north um or the east or the midlands um with uh, less traffic and uh, not so uh, many long delays on the road so um again you probably are not going to get again uh, the hottest w uh, weather um because that uh, again is uh, usually down south or the best weather is uh, usually down south but if it is con a congestion and delays um that you're thinking about um then again it could save you a lot of time and um 
money and um, if you head to one of those areas, Wales, Scotland, at the north like Yorkshire, north west, north east um, or the east at the east at like um, say Lincolnshire um, or um, say Norfolk um, places like Hunstanton, um, Great Yarmouth etc or say Skeg's Nest, um, Mablethorpe um, again they could be again uh, better beach destinations to head towards or if um, you're looking for north um, northwest then there's Blackpool um, again Southport um, and then there's the quieter Lytham and St Anne's um, and Morecambe again these could be all better destinations to head towards and um, also North Yorkshire, Scarborough, Whitby, uh, Filey um, again uh, there'll be lot, a lot less traffic in those destinations and Number two, the mirror, the best time to travel uh, this weekend with 30 million um, on the roads. As the summer holidays begin, it, if it is possible, it's better to avoid to he uh, head down them, particularly during the peak periods. Um, there's a decent ch a chance that you will um, avoid the worst of the traffic jams if you don't head down them in pe at peak periods. If you are going, then it's probably uh, better to start off extra early so um, you can avoid the traffic da jams as much as possible. Plus, then you'll get more time in your resort or where you plan to travel to um, which is going to be Thursday the M25 anti-clockwise junction 4 towards Dartford crossing between 11am and 7pm um, when uh, through my experience that M25's um, generally always been a problem with traffic and again whether you're driving yourself or going by coach um, especially between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. so if you do need to travel down that um, then it's better to um, travel before the 11 p.m. and 7 p.m. if you can um, on Friday um, M25 um, South Junction oh sorry Friday M5 South Junction 5 North of Bristol to Junction 23 Bridgewater um, to avoid and also again M25 anti-clockwise uh, Junction 19 Kingston to Junction 6 East Grinstead between 11 sorry between 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. again if you do need to travel um, try and travel earlier or go earlier to avoid the traffic jams or the worst of the traffic jams I just say um, Saturday um, the M6 60 clockwise um, junction 14 St Helens um, to junction 11 Eccles between at 12 p.m. and 6 p.m. Um, again um, fall bad for tra uh, for traffic um, Sunday again M25 clockwise junction 23 Hatfield to junction 20 8 Chelmsford between 11am and 
6 p.m. Um, to uh, again avoid or travel outside those hours uh, to make it le uh, your waiting time less long uh, longer with delays and at uh, last and at uh, number three at uh, daily express the sunniest uh, place in the uk is the beautiful seaside town ideally for a staycation this summer is eastbourne average of eight hours of uh, sunshine or it was in june um again it is da down south so again it's going to be uh, very busy to get to but um again if you tra uh, travel say on quieter periods uh, like say for instance Monday um, and travel at the quieter times uh, then again um, you'll face a lot less waiting time in traffic jams whether you're traveling by coach or uh, by car and number four gov.uk a new campaign to boost free bus travel at uh, this uh, si summer to encourage older people to make the most of their free bus uh, bus travel that's on gov.uk and um, number five daily express travel lodge launches um rooms for 38 pounds or less to save uh, uh, brits um or britons um on uk stays um in school holidays which is absolutely fantastic of the travel lodge and um, i have been to one travel lodge um at um heathrow airport um just outside uh, London and um, it was very nice the rooms were very nice that they looked like they had a variety on the menu to choose from um, and again if you're go uh, going to get a bargain then you might as well um, again grab it um, and again it might be better to choose a travel lodge than again other hotels because again they're the cheap end of the spectrum making it a lot more affordable to stay say in a three-star hotel um than other brands so i would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now and i'll see you tomorrow with a budget travel special so please keep watching and thank you and bye for now thank you bye